The next colour is dioxazine purple. I think I've pronounced that correctly. Apologies if not. And I'm going to use that on part of the nose here for the shadow over that eye and also over this one. And I'm also going to indi indicate the very dark of the eye. Notice I'm using a, uh, a smaller nibbed marker pen now. And while those little patches of purple are drying, I've now switched to a small marker of brilliant blue. <coughs> Excuse me. A small marker of brilliant blue. And I'm using that to finalise some of the areas around the nose. Now the lower lids of the cow's eye are a much lighter colour. So I'm just using a little bit of yellow ochre. I need to be quite careful because I'm using the just the edge of this rather large 15mm uh, nib. There we go. And then finally, just a couple of touches of white here and there. I put a little bit too much on there, so I'm just taking some of that off with my finger. go. And we'll also pop a little bit of white on the lower parts of the nostrils and a little touch on the top of the nose. A couple of places on the head, the ears, and then I'm going to fire in a few bursts of white to represent some long grasses. And I'm actually going to put in some patches of white here as well, because the green that I put down before isn't showing up all that well over the dark colours. So once this, these patches of white have dried, I'm going to put green over the top of that again. In fact, what I've actually decided to do is I've got some uh, acrylic paint on a small brush and I'm just going to tidy up and make the lines on the undersides of these eyes a little bit more precise so that we can see uh, the eyes are a little bit too obscured in shadow at the moment and a little bit ill-defined. So I've made those um, 